Hey guys, what's going on? Tua Cruz here, checking in with... Denise! We're here with Tun Chan, we're here with Suika Chan, and we're here with... Mi Chan. Mi Chan. Yeah. So we're going out for a nice spring ride today, and Tuang's riding her new nice spring kit. What do you guys think? Give a thumbs up if you like Tun Chan's new spring gear. And we're actually doing a ride to immigration. It's that time of year again. We got to renew our visas and we'll be talking about this on the road, but let's go ahead and get started with today's ride. Let's go. Let's go. So we're here checking in at the Shonai River. And a lot of you guys who watch my videos regularly know this is my old bike commuting path, but we're gonna be continuing on beyond where my old commute path ended. And I'm gonna be showing you guys some new paths today. And you guys said you like the long ride format, so that's what we're doing today. And today I'm on Suikachan. This is my cyclocross bike. We've got the solid tires on here. I'm still testing these out. And Tuinshan's on her road bike, but we gotta hurry up. We're gonna be late getting to immigration. Let's go. Let's go. So here we are starting along the familiar path. This is the road just above the Shonai River here in Nagoya, Japan. And we've got the fancy round apartment building there. This is the dangerous road where still some cars go by. Luckily, it's not a busy time of day right now. But we're going to drop down onto the cycle path. No motorcycles. And unfortunately, I've learned recently that also means no e-bikes. So I've got my e-bike now, but I can't bring my e-bike on this road, which is really unfortunate. But anyway, those of you who are fans of the channel will still recognize this road. This is the end part of my old commute. So for the first part of this video, we'll be riding on some familiar roads. And in just a little bit, we'll be passing, uh, probably about 10 minutes, we'll be passing the familiar area and entering into some new uncharted territory. For you guys anyway. So this is actually an annual sort of pilgrimage that I've had to do since moving here. And this is actually our third time going here this year. But the first two times, I actually went by car because it was raining those days and um, I have Friday off of work. It's the only day I can go to immigration, but most of the time you get only a one year visa. I've changed my job a lot recently. So when you change your job in Japan, they usually only give you a one year visa. But if you stay at the same job, you can probably get a three year visa and up to a five year visa. But I actually went the opposite. I started with a five year visa and I've changed my job um, each year for the last two years. So they've only given me a one year visa after that. It is what it is, but I actually don't mind the ride down to immigration because I get to ride the, the river pass. We're actually doing kind of the long way around just because this way there's no cars. We don't have to deal with dangerous traffic. So it is longer, but it's a bit more scenic and we've got some nice spring weather today. So I just love being outside, seeing all this green weather and seeing some of the trees, flowers starting to bloom. We've got some of the cherry blossoms starting to bloom. Hopefully we'll see some on today's ride. But yeah, not too many people out on the, the parks today because it is Friday. So it's a normal weekday for most people, school day. This is the, they always have nice little parks, sports facilities along the river. So we got some baseball here, some rugby practice areas. And yeah, this is gonna be a longer style video. You guys said you like the, the full ride, so I'll be talking on and off throughout the ride. I don't think I can talk for the entire time, but I'll do my best. Tung's in love with her new spring gear. She had some winter tights from Santic before, and those are great for winter riding, of course, but too hot for the summer spring type of riding. So this is a nice thin style, long um, cycling pants. So she can wear these in the summer and she's not gonna overheat. It's just a nice thin layer and Today it's about maybe 18 degrees Celsius, so a bit under 70 Fahrenheit. Not too warm, but not too cold. Nice and comfortable. I actually, this is like my favorite riding weather. Just nice long sleeve jersey. I've got my long sleeve jersey. 
I've got my leg warmers on and yeah we're just we're starting to get some green colors in the grass here and it looks really nice I am really looking forward to the summer seeing the vibrant green colors again but yeah regarding our visas so I mentioned this was our third time going to immigration or actually it's my third time so I had to renew my visa first and the reason for that is because Tungsa, I'm she's sponsored under my visa so there's a couple different ways you can stay here there's like student visas there's work visas and there's family visas so I'm on a work visa I'm a full-time worker so I sponsor myself through my work and my company that I work with and then I sponsor Tung's visa. So they don't act as a sponsor for her, but as long as I maintain a certain salary limit and you're in a certain work visa category, you can sponsor family. And so that's what I'm doing with her. And we were kind of worried for a while because I was unemployed for a little bit last year. And we were really worried about if we were gonna be able to stay in Japan. And if we couldn't stay in Japan, we still can't get into Vietnam because they're still closed. And there weren't many options for us to go we were thinking maybe Thailand because they have a nice special tourist visa going on now but you have to quarantine for two weeks so that was kind of the worst case scenario but thankfully it it seems like we got our application processed they gave us the envelope in the mail and it said please come in with your with your fee so once you pay the fee you should be able to pick up your visa so fingers crossed there's no problems today and we can go pick up our visa we actually did kind of a nice ninja application on our second time there because we I went to pick up the results of my application and we didn't want to waste a trip so as soon as I received my application we immediately then applied for her visa renewal after that because we weren't able to apply for her visa renewal until I got my new updated visa my new updated residence card because I couldn't apply with a with an outdated one that's about to expire so <laughs> We brought two layers of like paperwork and it worked out well. So, thankfully, I got my new card. We photocopied it right away. I filled in the entire application minus my new residence card like information. So we just filled in that last little information once I received it, submitted her application and we thankfully got two applications done in one trip. And yeah, otherwise it's a long trip to get over there. It's, it's at least like a two hour bike ride there and it's at least like a three hour wait in line to get the paperwork done. Not a fun process, but yeah, I don't know if you guys wanna learn too much about um, how immigration works, but basically, hopefully it's something you don't have to go through in your time here. Our uh, tune's gonna go this way. Tune's going that way. I'm gonna show you guys the secret way. This way is more fun. It's a little bit tough though. I don't think she wants to do it. Uh, I don't have any momentum though. Are we going to make it? This is the secret climb. Oh yeah. We made it. So this is the shortcut. We've got the driving school here. No one's really out there right now. Maybe they're on their lunch break. It's about lunchtime right now. And Tung should be popping up here in just a second. That shortcut actually saves quite a bit of time. I used to always race myself on my commute route. Is she coming? Oh, there she is. We won. Oh, soy ne. And here we go. This is Shonai Ryokuchi Koen, Shonai Ryokuchi Park. It's a nice big park here in the Nagoya area. And over here to the side, we've got the city center. We've got the main skyscrapers and towers. But we're going to be continuing on this way. So we're riding west right now. We're going to be riding west, curving along the river, and then riding down south. I'll leave the whole route information in the Strava link in the video. So you can check that out if you want to follow along today's ride. Uh, the first half of the ride, the first about hour, I'm not including in the video because 
I filmed countless videos on that route. So if you want to check out the first part of the route, I, you can check out some of my other videos about that section. Oh, but it is looking nice. Down here in this park, you can see some of the flowers, the yellow flowers starting to bloom. It's looking nice and colorful down there. There's always lots of dogs here, so that's one of the reasons I really like this park. They've got a dog park over there. And you don't see too many uh, dogs here in Japan, at least not people out walking their dogs. But here, you see quite a few, so it's like they all just gather here. The other nice thing about this route that my wife will like is there's no hills, just that little jump there. So here we go. This is the, the dog park down here. You can see a couple little cute guys running around. No big dogs right now, just tiny little things. Uh, yeah, unfortunately, big dogs aren't popular here in Japan. It's really difficult to have dogs in Japan because most apartments don't allow them. And most apartments don't have much space, so, and most people don't have yards, so they can't like run around or walk their dogs anywhere. So everyone just gets those tiny little kind of toy dogs. They call them wanchan in Japanese. So technically the word for dog in Japanese is inu, but most people say like wanchan. Chan is kind of like a cute suffix. So it usually refers to like the tiny little dogs, wanchan, or like puppy. It gives that cute kind of image. Let's go down this way. We're going to take the, the little shortcut down here. We want to go under this bridge. We don't want to wait at the light. And yeah, I haven't been on this road in like over a year. So I have to get my bearings straight. But I do think there are a couple little gravel sections we'll be going over. So it'll be fun to test those out on these solid tires. And I, I like this bridge too. It's a nice, cool looking bridge here in Nagoya. So here we are, we're in, we're in the new section that we normally wouldn't ride on, on my old commute. Normally my old commute ended that way. My old company that I worked at is right over here. So I never quite went this far. Dude's fishing down there. So yeah, always, if you can go under the bridge, you can save yourself some time, not get stuck waiting at those traffic lights. Very cool bridge. And for most of the ride, we're just following the river. I love the river pass here in Nagoya and um, this river path going down this way, it's not quite as great as the one we've been on so far. Sometimes it's really nice, it's dedicated, but sometimes it does end up on a main road kind of like we are now, but there's no cars here in this section, so we're pretty good. So it's a mix of good and bad. There we go, we got a nicer view of the city, Nagoya, the city where we live. Not too many skyscrapers, but it is about, I think technically the third or fourth largest city in Japan, depending on if you count like Yokohama as separate than Tokyo, <laughs> well, greater Tokyo area, if you count that as one, um, it's third, but if you count them separately, it's fourth, I think.
Here we go. Do we? Uh, I'm not sure. I think we want to go left here. Let's let's just stay on the path. Sometimes it'll dead end you. I'm not sure what it's going to do to us, but yeah, I think we're going to be doing a little bit of trial and error on today's ride. So I get asked a lot on my videos, like how do I find all my routes? And it's mainly trial and error. A lot of these paths, you need to know like the right turns to take, where to take them. And the only way to really learn that is by experimenting and learning what roads work, what roads don't work. And I only do this route like maybe once a year. So I, I tend to forget the next time I come. But yeah, this part's coming back to me. I think we wanted to stay on the, the main road here because we got a railway crossing up here. But that's okay. It looks like we can cross over easily. Okay, yeah, it'll let us back over. It didn't matter. So we could take the stairs down and go under, but that's okay. We can just cross normally. Technically, you need to stop at these railway crossings before you cross. All right, we're good. And let's stay left here. We want to stay by the river. Yeah, I think you can go under this path, but that's all right. We'll wait it out for this one light. Here we go. Yeah, we want to get down on that path. I think we can connect over right down here. Yeah. Let's drop on in. Shonai River. Oh, we got lots of pigeons out today. But yeah, this, this west side of the city is pretty nice on this river path. It's really beautiful. It's a shame I never really come over this way, but we live on the east side of the city, so we don't get too many opportunities to come over to the west side. Oh, that was a rough bump. Going straight there, it looked like we were going to get cut off. So I think we needed to stay here to the left side of the path. My instinct is coming back. Oh, what are these little purple guys sort of sprouting out of the ground? Anybody know what these purple guys are? I wonder if those will bloom into something nice.
Here we go. No parking. <laughs> and if I recall, I think, if I'm recalling correctly, we should pass by some nice little farm areas over this way too. Yeah, we got one here. Sort of the community farming area, so you can rent out some of these areas from your local city center, and you can use this land to farm. What's this? Are they drying out like the cabbage or something? Preparing to make some kimchi? I don't know. <laughs> the other nice thing about the pass over here is there's very few people out on here. So there's a few walkers. We're also fortunate that it's a weekday, so. But yeah, I don't think too many people use these paths. Unfortunately, not many cyclists use them because they do get pretty rough and there are some walkers so you can't go too fast. We're just casually spinning right now. Oh, we got a big dog over here. There we go. Nice. And I also get asked a lot what these giant like net structures are. And these are usually um, either a driving range <laughs> or some kind of baseball area. These ones are for a driving range for golf. So golf is really popular here in Japan. And so we've got these pop-up sort of driving ranges everywhere in every town and they really stand out because they're really tall compared to everything else so yeah they don't have the the space to just get a full-on normal driving range so they just pop them up wherever they can And we might have to, I'm not sure what time immigration closes, but I want to try and get there before three o'clock. It's almost two o'clock now. So yeah, I want to make sure we have enough time, not make this trip uh, sort of useless. So we'll pick up the pace a little bit. Let's see if Toonchan will keep up. We brought our lights because we figured we'd be riding in the dark on the way back home. We sort of left a little bit later today. Here we go, we got some more farm things growing over here. I won't even pretend to know that I know <laughs> what any of these are. Tung would probably know. That's another really common thing. You see people practicing instruments out here in the middle of nowhere because they don't have anywhere to practice the apartments here in japan are not soundproof at all and actually many apartments including my own apartment they ban instruments so i'm not allowed to play instruments in my apartment and so people yeah they need they're desperate to find a place to practice you can rent a studio a karaoke room but that's expensive so there's no like free places you can practice so people come out here in the middle of nowhere <laughs> underneath the bridges because uh, the bridges are loud so if you practice under there the sound isn't going to carry very far so yeah you'll see a lot of different people practicing instruments under bridges oh these are cool these nice little rest areas that they're building i guess they're trying to make these uh, cycling paths into something nice that people will do that's really nice i don't think these were here the last time i was here 
yeah, I'm wondering if they're going to fully develop those into a, a full-on kind of rest area or if they want to turn those into like a farmer's market kind of square. Hmm, I'm curious what they'll do. Here we go. I'm not sure what this pipeline is for, but it really stands out. Bright orange pipe. Nifty. All right, we are starting to make our way down southwest now. We're wrapping our way around the city and we'll be going straight down south pretty soon. Oh, apparently, yeah, cars can go on this road. <laughs> I didn't really see any cars the whole time, so you get kind of a false sense of security thinking it is like a normal biking path, but uh, and they do use it for the farms. But yeah, we're about 23K into our ride so far. See, I think a little bit over halfway. And we're passing by another golf area right here. So this is Nagoya West Golf Club. Cute little golf station and all the little farm sections right by it. Oh man, two and sprinting away. I had to stop really quickly to change the, the battery. We're filming in 60 frames per second today, so let us know if you like the change. 4K, 60 frames per second, so the, the batteries go pretty quick with this setting. And unfortunately, I only have three batteries today. Tung used the GoPro yesterday and didn't tell me and she didn't charge the battery, so we might have to, I'm not sure if we'll be able to film the entire ride, but hopefully we'll cross our fingers and. Hope that the GoPro batteries will last us all the way to immigration. If not, we'll check in with our iPhone on the way back once we finish. That's okay, we got backups. Ah, this is the section I think where we get off the main path and we get onto kind of a strange path it's all coming back. Actually, I think we gotta get on the main road here for a section. Hidari. Yeah, normally I go on that path that that guy was just sort of blocking with the cones, but they're blocking it today, I don't know. Maybe they don't want people going that way, but we'll try dropping back in once we go down this main road for a little bit. But I really don't like these upper river roads because they're really narrow. There's no shoulder and the cars that drive on them drive pretty fast. They can be pretty dangerous. Yeah, it looks like this company is doing some I don't know, some, they've got some storage there, their cars. So I don't think they want people. Yeah, I think they're doing some construction over there right now. So we can't, so we can't ride over this way right now, but that's okay. Hopefully we can get back on here just past the construction area.
we've got a bunch of apartments lining up on this side of the river bank and they have this nice tall wall to protect against flooding. But I guess we can go down there. That guy's fishing, so it's not like... Uh, yeah, I think it's okay, but we don't want to bring any unnecessary attention if there's people working down there. And I'll try staying a little bit further right just to give towing an extra cushion. Cars especially like speeding on these roads because there's less traffic lights on these river roads compared to some of the main roads. So people tend to speed on here. They view it as kind of like a shortcut. And yeah, there's just, there's no shoulder because it's built on this sort of river um, protection bank. So they don't build it too wide. Here we are, we're gonna get stuck here. We wanna go under. We still can't get down to this path. Uh, we're gonna get down to this section so for those of you who say there's no trash in Japan <laughs> check this out this is where all the trash is luckily we've got our mountain bike shoes on today so yeah I just want to get back down to this path this is what I'm familiar with and this path it does have some grass sections and this is the interesting section I wanted to show you guys. Okay, <laughs> go. Let's check out how these solid tires perform on the grass and gravel. So I mentioned earlier in the video that some of the sections on this path weren't fully developed and this is that one section so I actually really struggle to find like gravel roads to ride on and places for mountain bikes cyclocross training so that's one thing about this section is it it's pretty rough <laughs> so I, I used to come here occasionally do some intervals when I was doing my cyclocross training hunting for places to practice with cyclocross it's really Nice to be on the sort of rough surfaces. But yeah, it's rough, but thankfully there's no car, so I feel safer here riding than on that narrow road with all those cars speeding by. And here we go. This is the end of the, the grass section. Oh, there go all the crows. <laughs> and here we go. We're going straight south now. Straight down to immigration. I actually stopped for a quick bathroom break, so Tung went on ahead. We're catching up to her now. Oh yeah, I think we got another little gravel section right up here. Let's see.
Oh yeah, really short one. <laughs> Always short lived. Shiko cross do that. Shiko cross do that. Saki no grass no to. That's all. Yeah, these river paths always say no golfing, but there's always people out here practicing golf. Tanushkata. Yeah, we didn't get to enter any cyclocross races last year. Unfortunately, most everything was canceled. I think we can still go this way. Oh, we got some more gravel. Oh, these are some rough rocks. This is not so great for the solid tires. Ugh. Yeah, let's get over here. This is a bit smoother. Not really. <laughs> yep, this is why this path isn't so popular for cyclists. They're all road cyclists. They like the smoother roads. And this path gets broken up a little bit like this, but I really like these kinds of paths. It adds character to the trail riding on different kinds of surfaces. Those ruts are nasty. Yeah, someone was riding in here on a rainy day and all these ruts are not fun. Well, actually, I do think they are kind of fun, but I don't think Chung's gonna enjoy them. <laughs> yeah, she's dropped back quite a bit. Ah, it looks like they're blocking that section. Oh, that's too bad. I don't think we can go anymore. We got to get back on the main road. Uh, Tung might be happy about that. Here she comes. How was it? It's It's Oh, I'm in a big gear. All right, we're gonna get back on the river path. Oh, it feels so nice to be back on a smooth path. And we're, we're actually riding down towards the port. So the port area, or Minamiku, is pretty cool actually and yeah you get all the ocean side views so we might stick around and try and do some more cycling around there we'll have to see how we're doing with time and yeah this is all assuming that there's no problems with Chung's visa 
But yeah, if we successfully get her visa, that will be a huge peace of mind. We've been really stressed out recently having to do these visa applications and making sure that we can stay here in Japan for the time being. Oh, that's cool. There's like a, a rowing school, a rowing club there. They had an indoor gym, they were doing some rowing, so they had all the boats, so they must launch them in here and do some rowing. That's really cool. I've always wanted to get into rowing, but I just never had like a, a good opportunity to get into it. But yeah, one day I'd really like to try. I think we need to cross over here pretty soon, so. Yeah, they had their they had their rowing club jackets on. That was pretty cool. I should have totally talked to them and been like, hey, can I join your rowing club? And uh, we do need to turn here pretty soon. I'm not sure if it's this road or if it's the next one. Yeah, we do need to, immigration's over here to the left. So we do need to cross over at some point. But yeah, these roads used to all be open. It was a nice long gravel cyclocross practice course. Unfortunately, it's all under construction over here now. But yeah, the jacket for those girls, I think that was Nagoya University. I'll have to check the, the video footage later. But Nagoya University, they're not, I don't think they're based over here. Maybe they have an extra campus, but this is pretty far for them to come to do their club activity. So they're pretty dedicated if that's the case. Oh, it's getting windier. <laughs> Miki Towing's getting all competitive that that guy passed us. <laughs> She's gonna hunt him down. Mawaste, mawaste. <laughs> oh yeah, she's crushing it up the hill. Let's get there. Okay. Come at Do you want to go get him? Hi, <laughs> sit Maybe we cross here. Actually, I don't remember this bridge, but let's try this one. This is a pedestrian bridge. I don't think I've been on this bridge. I think, ma, tsukirakido. Yeah, 
Yeah, I think it's the next one, but... Skarita. Skarita. Sprinta. <laughs> so, yeah, we got to keep going down this way and then turn out that road. From here on, we're on the main roads, so we got to be careful. Okay. So, actually, let's, let's go on the pedestrian path. This feels a little safer. Let's see if we can find some more little back roads on our way to immigration. Do we have to get on the main road here? Uh, uh, okay. Yeah, I don't want to go on this busy road. Let's go into the neighborhoods. I know the general direction we need to go now. Let's pull up the map so we don't get lost. So, sometimes it's a maze in Japanese neighborhoods though. You can get lost really easily. But luckily, we have a GPS. Yeah, the roads in here aren't always perpendicular and there's a lot of hybrid cars that you can't hear until they're like right in front of you but I like riding on random roads like this you can sometimes find some nice little surprises that road's ending so let's go this way and this should take us towards that main road we wanted to go to. All good. Oh, lots of beautiful flowers. Here's a little suburb park, typical Japanese park. The nice thing about Japanese parks is they always have a, a little restroom. So you can always find a place for a bathroom break in Japan. De Asuka. Asuka's Cafe. Speaking of Asuka, I really want to go see the new Evangelion movie. Haven't gone to see it yet, but yeah, I guess the, the foreign release is going to be a lot later, so if I'm going to go see it, I might as well go see it now. But we, of course, haven't been to any movie theaters in over a year. Um, but technically, they are open here, so we can go. Just a little bit worrying. Japan, we're pretty low overall in COVID cases, but they're still spreading. And yeah, they're still a little bit behind with the vaccine distribution. So we still don't want to take any unnecessary risk. I think this is the main road we need to go on to get to immigration. So we just go straight here and we should be there pretty soon. Looks like we're making it on time. Now all that's wait is all uh, now all that we have to do is wait and hope that there were no problems with her application and she can pick up her new visa card and we can happily continue to make cycling videos here in Japan for you guys. Sidewalks really rough. Let's get on the main road for a little bit. It's a bit smoother and the cars are stopping. I 
yeah, we should probably put on our, our masks here. We're getting back in a populated area. Mask on! Yeah, oh. yeah this looks really good. Chung's like, let's get some ramen. Let's get your visa first. Then we can maybe get some delicious food as a reward. Well, that was pretty dangerous. Yeah, these, these sidewalks, well, it is safer in some regards. In other regards, it is quite dangerous because cars will pop out, but that's why you just want to keep going at a slow pace. Technically, you're not allowed to ride fast on these sidewalks. You have to be riding pretty slow like we are now, so we can respond quickly if a car is pulling out or if a pedestrian walks out. We can stop immediately at this pace. Sanjitsu. And check out this bike, fully decked out. This is the family bike. They've got the, the child seat in front. They've got the child seat in the back. And they've got a basket for groceries up front. And this is a beast of a bike. This is like the super mom bike. Very cool. This is the other funny thing, the light is red, but you can see they're still going. <laughs> the endless red light in Japan. So yeah, when there's pedestrians like that, you obviously want to go really slow. There we go, I think it's right past that bridge, right by the station. Yeah, most people come by train, we come by bike. Only this time though, actually. I actually drove the last two times. Lots of restaurants now have this sign up outside. Take out to dekimasu. Means we can do take out. So for obvious reasons, take out has been increasing lately. Not as many people eating out at restaurants. There's still quite a few people eating out at restaurants though, but uh, not normal capacity. A 
yeah, check out this nice little shoulder we have here. But that's okay, we've only got a little bit to go. I think the station name is like the Keiba Eki or something like that. Yeah, here it is. Nagoya Keiba Jo Mai. So it literally translates to the station in front of the, the horse racing stadium. So there's actually a horse racing stadium right over here. And that's why they named the station after that. But here we are. We're at immigration. And we gotta lock up our bikes over here. Tita! Good job. Good job. Good job. <laughs> All right, we've got Toonchan in her disguise. She's gonna wear the vest so she doesn't stand out, but uh, she's gonna stand out with these shoes. <laughs> so Toon's gonna go on in by herself, and hopefully she just needs to go pick up the, the new visa, so it shouldn't take too long. I'm gonna stay here and watch the bikes. So. Uh, mm -hmm. Bye -bye. Bye -bye. And this guy just rolls up here on this cool Martin mountain bike here. So we're not the only people biking in today. Actually, these bikes are all here, but I think these are like facility bikes. These are, these are here every time I'm here. So the people who actually bike here are just these people. So um, <laughs> I'm actually going to study some Vietnamese on my cell phone while we're waiting for her. So we'll check back in in a few minutes. All right, guys, Tuan Chan is back. How did it go? How did it go? Yeah, it Oh, it was a lot of Yeah, I waited outside for about like 45 minutes for her. I was just studying Vietnamese on my phone the whole time. Toi hok tiếng Viet. Yeah. How did it go? Did you get your new card? Get to get to Okay. New visa. New visa. Yes. So now we can safely stay in Japan for the next year. We have one, actually this is one of the biggest things we were worried about for the last few months and it's really nice relieving feeling to get this out of the way and know we have our residence card so we're safe. We have another year until we have to do that again and that's if we're staying here, we don't know yet. But for the time being we'll be staying here, filming more cycling videos here. And actually we rode over here, this is the Nagoya port near the Nagoya Public Aquarium, you can see right here. There's actually a little amusement park and Ferris wheel over there. But this is a cool little place. I don't get to come over here very often. And we had a nice sunny day, so we decided to stop by here on our way back. And unfortunately, I don't have much battery left on my GoPro, so this is gonna be the end of today's video. But before we go, I wanna say a special thank you to everyone who joined our Patreon team this month. So a special shout out and thank you to our new March patrons, Armin G. Miranda, Tina Adeyemo, Eben Sullivan, J.A. Hay, Tree Trung, and Brian Dempson. Thank you so much to our new supporters. And of course, also a special thank you to our continued patron supporters and anyone who's helped support our channel over the last year. So thank you to all of you guys. You guys are awesome. Thanks to your support, we're able to continue making videos like this. And yeah, what do you guys think, Nagoya Port? Uh, maybe we'll have to come back here another day and film a full video, but unfortunately we don't have enough battery on our camera right now and Tung's getting hungry so yeah. it's time for us to go search for some food. I'm, I'm hungry. I'm hungry. Yeah. Okay. Thanks as always for watching everyone and we'll see you next time here on Tuba Cruise. Bye bye. Bye bye. Yeah.